I'm trying to Nuzlocke Pokemon Run and Bun, a stupidly difficult ROM hack of Emerald with Pokemon and mechanics up to Gen 8. Enjoy the highlights. Stop blue balling me, man. Give me the scooter. Yes, dude. I deserve it. I deserve the Holy Charm. Oh my God. So I believe these grunts are meant to be quite difficult. I mean, look at him. Bright Powder, Bright Powder, Quick Claw, Contrary, King's Rock, Speed Boost, and Expert uh, and Analytic. Oh my God. All right, first Grunt, first Aqua Grunt in the Weather Institute. Very hacks related team he has. We can definitely get fucked. If we get flinched a bunch, like there's some bad stuff that can happen. Um, luckily, our Sceptile still has Magical Leaf. So no damage boosting item or anything. We're just faster. Quad resist. This guy is Bright Powder, Stealth Rocks. So we don't even have to play around that. We can just... Magical leap him away. So we are very slightly pre-damaged here. So that Scolipede will see kill with pin missile and that he can't Swords Dance this turn. So this Scolipede has speed boost and King's Rock, which makes it terrifying because it gets really fast and then fucking flinches you constantly. So we're going to throw our ape in now. Our ape has slow kill on him, so we can't set up a Swords Dance. Um, and we just have to dodge Rock Slide flinch or King's Rock flinch. We have Gigalith as a backup for this Mon because this is not super duper safe. Crit, okay. Okay, he got the three hit. That's fine. So we're going to click Overheat and it kills him if we can get it. Um, I guess I should probably fake out. Why not, right? He just gets another speed boost, but he's already outspeeding absolutely everything. So whatever. Now we just want to dodge the flinch. He's going to click Rock Slide into us. Please do not flinch me. We get maybe two chances at this before we have to go Gigalith. Okay. There's one. Um, max roll crit into me is 93. I can stay in for one more, but I'd rather go... Oh, this is this is a little bit sus. Come on. Don't get flinched, please. This is like pretty high chance to flinch me, but... Come on, hit through. Come on, man. Okay. Nice. Very nice. You love to see that. You really do. Cool. Absolutely riskless. So I think this goes Starmie now, right? So this could Surf or Psychic us here. We're going to pivot through Sceptile. He gets analytic boosted damage right here. So this is going to chunk us. Oh, that's actually really bad. Spideff drop crit there is actually bad. Or it could be. Little bit of chippage. That means right now we're, we're still dead to... So normally if he didn't Spideff drop us, or even if he only crit us, or only Spideff dropped us, we'd be baiting Ice Beam. But because he got both, we're now baiting Psychic as well. So I guess Ludi just has to dodge crits now. The problem is Ludi can die to spadef drop or crit now if he goes psychic i don't think so we're baiting ice beam i don't think a gigalith pivot helps us does it gigalith actually baits either psychic or surf if he ice beams it's 100 percent surf here if he psychics then it's 50 50 again so i think going gigalith here because we, we don't need gigalith anymore he was just a backup for that scolipede i think going through gigalith is correct because if he ice beams our gigalith then we can bring ludian on surf which is actually way more ideal even better than um, this coming in on the Ice Beam. So if he Ice Beams this turn, it's good. If it's not, then we have to risk 50-50 um, Psychic the next turn, plus a potential like into shit into Ludi that can go badly. Um, hopefully it doesn't though. God, if our Ludi comes in on Psychic, we actually might lose our Ludi because of Burn. I think we actually do. Fuck me, never lucky, man. Rarely dead to T-Bolt Ice Beam. Most of, always dead to Surf. Always dead to Psychic. If he Psychics my Ludi on the Switch and he high rolls me, after Burn Chip, I'm dead to another high roll Psychic. Oh no. I can't believe he actually crits but death drop my Sceptile. That's fucking wild. So the safe play here is obviously sacking Gigalith. Because if I don't sack Gigalith, I think I, I think this Starmie can actually just wipe me right now. That's so unlucky. 50% random move. Spadef drop crit into my Sceptile. And then another he got another 50% random move correct guess into my Gigalith. 
Do you reckon he gets another 50% correct into my into my Ludi? Actually, wait. I'm not considering so I'm, I'm, I'm not considering something. I switch in Ludi on the Psychic and I take analytic damage, but then I don't the next turn. So I think actually Ludi, if Ludi doesn't get Spideff dropped and doesn't get crit, Ludi can actually clutch. Fuck it. I, I think I might ball. If you Psychic me, just don't crit. There's a tiny bit of Thunderbolt and Ice Beam overlap. They also work fine. Come on, man. <laughs> Let's see some Prages, all right? Our boy Ludi, our boy Ludi's got to clutch this one. I'm putting, him in, I'm putting it on him to clutch. Come on, Ludi. <laughs> clutch up man let's fucking let's let's see it let's see it let's see it just just surf just surf me surf okay dude Luke fucking giggle is saved it's that easy it's that easy <laughs> rewarded dude fucking rewarded oh my god That was definitely the incorrect play, but fuck it, dude. We ball. We're saving this Gigalith for Pyre. I'm not letting him die before he gets to the top of that Mount Pyre, baby. All right? I'm not letting him do it. He's got to stay with us. Oh, fuck, what, what Pokemon are even in the rest of this team? I already forgot. <laughs> Breloom, you're free as fuck. Good shit, Ludi. Good shit. I mean, it did work. It's... Can't, you can't say it's the incorrect play when it gets you the results like that, can ya? Sometimes, sometimes you just gotta ball out, I guess. We've had our share of... Dude, are you gonna put me into Mock Punch range, actually? Right Powder Breloom, we Aerial Ace it. So, we can lose still here to some fiction. <laughs> some more fiction. That would never, ever happen, by the way. We go Senti Scorch here. This is most likely... Fine. If it's Psycho Cut Crit, it's kinda bad. If it's superpower, it's fine. Okay, just don't crit me. Okay, so the only way we lose now is either quick draw, high roll, psycho cut crit, aka fucking fairyland fiction, or um, quick draw night slash flinch, but he has to get two. And we always kill him with a lunge. Oh, okay, no quick claw. Fucking easy, dude. What an easy deathless aqua grunt. So free, man. Another riskless fight. Wait. Oh, Night Slash can't flinch either. Wait. What am, what am I thinking of? Why, why did I think that could flinch? Pro Nuzlocker, by the way. You can get fucking five badges and still forget that <laughs> Psycho Cut and Night Slash can't flinch you. Hopefully, I haven't overlooked anything this fight. If I have, whatever. The truck's been calling my name for a little while now. Double battle last one before Shelly and then uh, Bridge Rival after that. So, this is a very particular setup that we have here. Basically, they both see fast kill into my Kingler right now. So, we're going to Flare Blitz this Ninetales to delete it, and we're going to protect Kingler. So, Kingler at this HP only is dead to Arctazolt Bolt Beak, which is very important. So, I actually had to do a little bit of tech here, a little bit of cooking. So, if our Kingler was 2 HP less, we could be dead to Blizzard, and then on the next turn, he would see fast kill into our Hamilton. We're Rockhead, so we don't take any chip from the Flare Blitz into that guy. Cool. So now we take Hail Chip and Sticky Barb Chip. With that extra chip, this Lipard always sees fast kill into our Kingler now, so can't fake out our Hamilton. 33 HP, we're always dead. So Hamilton is going to Flare Blitz him and kill him as well. And we're going to switch in Gastrodon. Now he could Blizzard this turn, but it doesn't matter on a, for our Hamilton. We're just going to go Gastrodon. Because we're clicking Flare Blitz, we'll unfall anyway. Okay, he did go for the Blizzard. That's fine. If it freezes, it's okay. The important thing is that the Persian didn't fake out our Hamilton. And Psycho Cut. Big Psychic Gem, this is fine. Not that much damage. Oh, unless he crits. That is a bit of damage, I guess. <laughs> okay, and then Hamilton just deletes this life hard. <sighs> nice. See you later, cat. So now this Arctazolt should see the kill into my Hamilton with Bolt Beak. But it's a 2v1, so it's a lot more manageable right now. Um, my Hamilton is never dead to low kick, actually. 
Um, but I am dead to Bolt Beak a bunch of the time. So we're going to switch in Camera Upt on that slot. That's all we can go for there. Then on the Gastrodon slot. Um, I think I... Do I want to stay in a turn? He shouldn't be able to target my um, Gastrodon here. Yeah, Bolt Beak. Perfect. I know, right? Magpies, it's crazy. This fight's meant to be pretty hard as well, but I think we've got a kind of unlock here. So now, he sees that he can click Icicle Crash into my Gastrodon. Oh, wait, actually, Ice Chip. Oh, our Gastrodon is going to be dead to Hydro Pump crit, isn't he? So I'm going to go Scooter here, and I'm going to go Hammy here. He should only be able to Icicle Crash that slot. Yeah, we're doing Charlie tonight. Maybe Bridge Rival as well. We'll see how we go. Please tell me these pivots are actually safe. Perfect. Fucking perfect. So what we do now... Wow, that was still quite a bit of damage. Scooter is faster. And kills. Brick Break. See you later. Now I think we switch in Ape. So that we can fake out the uh, the, the fish next turn. You're dead. So now the, the fish is going to come in. But we don't have to risk Gastrodon on crit because we can fake out cheese it now. So I think we have it. Hell yeah. Okay, I think we got it. Arctivish actually has slow kill into my... Um, Scooter, so I needed to make sure that the setup was right for that, but um, yeah, you're just slush rush, lumberry, nothing that's going to stop you from eating this fake out and flinching. Good job, Scooter. And now Scooter is faster, and we just kill. <sighs> okay, dude, we got there. This is extremely suspicious, really, really sus. We're probably losing Clefable. And Dreadnor. Our box is terrible for this. Literally zero things in my box. Bait, Dragonite, Fire Punch. This is a really bad fight for us. Some things can go well though, but yeah, let's do it. <sighs> Shelly. This is really, really bad. This fight. Okay, so he leads with Mian Xiao. This Mian Xiao has Fake Out and Focus Sash. And also Inner Focus. So we're going to fake it out, not so that it flinches, because it has inner focus, so we can't flinch it. We're going to fake it out to break its focus sash. Yep, that's fine. He, sh he should just fake us out as well. Cool, but we don't flinch because we're faster than him, so our fake out goes off first. And now this overheat just kills him. This should bait in Tornadus. See you later, Mian Chao. The start of this fight is going to look kind of clean, but believe me, it's a lot can go wrong later. Like, so, so much. The ending is so sus. Okay, Tornado sees fast kill acrobatics right now. So we're going to go into Dreadnought to eat that. This still does a bit of damage, but that's fine. Okay. Here's the flying gem acro. Big chunk. Look how much damage that still does. Crazy. Now it's only Grass Knot, so we go into Electrode. Okay, we're going to Volt Switch out, which can never kill. But we're baiting either Acrobatics or Heat Wave here. So, we would ideally like to see Heat Wave non-burn. Heat Wave burn would be pretty bad. Acrobatics would be like, whatever. But Heat Wave non-burn is actually the best. We're going to go back into Dreadnought. Okay, don't burn me. Okay, wow, that was perfect to proc out Citrus as well. That's that's pretty good. Th that maybe makes it actually a little bit better out the back for us, but we'll see, we'll see. So, we go back into Electrode on another Grass Knot here. A little bit of good RNG, maybe that can save us in a little bit, we'll see. On the Grass Knot, that's fine, and this Volt Switch will always kill him. So we get to choose what we send in first. And we're going to choose Donphan because this baits out Mega Blastoise first. 
I couldn't bait out the um the Dragonite in any meaningful way that I could see. So we go into slightly pre-damaged Donphan. This should bait out Blastoise. Perfect. So non-Mega Blastoise always sees kill. That's why I have a tiny bit of pre-damage with Surf here. So we go into Miracle Seed, Sceptile. Big Mega comes in. Okay, no crit is good there because we might have to use this against Lantern as well. We are faster and kill with Leaf Storm now. <laughs> See you later, Blastoise. This Seppi is a beast. Okay, so now is where things can start getting downhill a lot. That's three of their mons dead and like not too much damage on our guys, which seems good. But these last three mons could source us up. So this Nihilego right now sees Sludge Wave as always killing and Meteor Beam is sometimes killing. If it sees the Meteor Beam sometimes kill, I think it'll go for it because it gives it the setup. Um, but we just go into Don Fan here. He could set up a Stealth Rocks, which will make things a little bit more complicated as well. Wow, he sets him up now? I, I That doesn't fuck us. I'm just wondering if that gives us a better line. I, I was, I, my, my plan had him setting up Stealth Rocks anyway. That was, that's one of the reasons why it's so sus out the back. Um, so this is guaranteed Meteor Beam now. I think maybe I'm going to spin once. If we get crit by this Meteor Beam though, it's really bad. Actually, uh, I think I'm just going to EQ. I'm going to EQ. I'm sturdy. We're just going to play with rocks up. This is why part of this setup that I did at the start of this fight was trying to bait Nihilego out as late as possible so that we would have rocks up for as few mons as possible because our box was just so bad for this fight. I couldn't find a safe way to play without the rocks. Okay. Citrus heals us up. And we EQ him. He's dead. But now stealth rocks are up. This probably goes Dragonite. Yeah, it does. Uh, so this is random move, Aqua Tail or Outrage. If this Aqua Tail's right here, we're instantly sacking Clefable. If it outrages, Clefable has a very unlikely chance to live. But um, if it Aqua Tails, we just have to sack Clefable. <laughs> random move, Denied on this fight is a little bit sus, but let's see what we can get here. Okay, Aqua Tail, unlucky. There, mm, nah, there's no world where we ever go Dreadnought. Okay. Oh, wait, actually, I think we live one here, don't we? Yeah, that's fine. As, as long as we don't get crit. Oh, seven Clefables though, chap. He um should have been a Gyarados, I think, but whatever. See you later, Clefable. Actually, not this turn, probably. Oh, you lived. Nice, man. Wait. Multi-scale broken. Dreadnought just takes too much damage, I think. How much HP am I at? And, and I have no Citrus, yeah. I can't go Dreadnought. Dreadnought will just die. Yep. Goodbye, Clefable. My only fairy type. But I just could not find another way through this Dragonite. And we're still not out of the woods. Okay. So we, we throw in Dreadnought now. So we always live an Aqua Tail here. And we are faster after a Rock Tomb. So Rock Slide would be a ranged, but I'm just going to Rock Tomb to slow him down so we, we always kill on the next turn. Cool. Now we're faster. So I'm just going to Rock Slide on him. Okay. Now there's only one Pokemon left. Oh my god, I'm actually never dead to Ice Beam. We're going to have to risk something here as well. I'm actually not sure how the exact calculations work out, but we have a Citrus Berry still. I think we can live an Ice Beam, maybe. Which I think we have to do because our Sceptile will lose otherwise. Our Sceptile doesn't just win from this position. Oh, wait, I'm faster and I get a Giga Drain off anyway. So actually, I think I definitely live an Ice Beam. So yeah, we go Ball. 
Maybe not a crit, but yeah, they shouldn't be able to Ice Beam here. There's a Pointed Stones. Do I eat my berry now? Yeah. Cool. T-Bolt. That's pretty good. Better than Scald. Okay. So, Giga Drain takes us out of Ice Beam range. I think we're dead to crit, and that means that our bridge rival is going to be so fucking sus. But we need this bit of chippage here, so... Giga Drain. Please do not crit me, man. Oh, we crit him! Oh my god, that might actually heal us out of range, right? Oh my god, we're actually out of range. That just healed us out of range. We're not even dead to Ice Beam for it. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Giga Drain will heal me 24% minimum. I think we just do this because going Sceptile, I risk para plus crit as well. Because he's... I, wait, if I... What if I go Ape? Actually, maybe that's way better. I'm always baiting Ice Beam here into Ape. Ape always baits Scald and now Sceptile isn't a range. And we don't care if Sceptile gets burnt. I think we actually have it. Oh my... That Giga Drain crit so mattered, by the way. So, so mattered. <laughs> this should always be scored, right? 101, always scored. So we go Seppi on the scored. Okay, getting through that with only a Cloth Fable death. Like, I was fully ready to truck. <laughs> yep, we live it. We're just faster and we just kill with Leaf Storm now. Holy shit. I mean, I'll take that, dude. One, a Cloth Fable death, that is fine. Cloth Fable is not even that amazing and we we move on somehow fucking somehow holy shit and we've unlocked life orb now we had a planned sack clefable most of the time there was like some lines where we could have saved it honestly a lot of the lines we had to kill dreadnor as well and also dodge crits and shit but we kind of clutched up we kind of did Oh, okay, dude. Let's just do it. Let's get it over with. Bridge rival. First time. This fight was so... It took me even longer than Shelly to cook up and was really bad for our box as well. But here we go. Lead, Swampert, plus Gyarados. In rain... And permanent electric terrain. Because it is a thunderstorm. This intimidate does not matter. <sighs> okay. So there was a few notes about this starting position. We have Sceptile and Kingler are our only two protect mons that we have at all. If I led Kingler in order to always bait a Swampert kill, I had to be in Gyarados Muddy Water range, which I wasn't willing to do. So I had to lead Electrode. Also, Electrode, if I baited from the Sceptile slot um, in the, on this turn one that I'm about to kill, I would be baiting Dragapult, who would then click Breaking Swipe, and Breaking Swipe minus attack, minus one attack on both Pokemon on my side was just too much for me to deal with for, to be able to come up with a consistent line after that where I could actually do damage. So, we're baiting double kill into Sceptile right now. We Energy Ball this Swampert and kill it. It always kills, and we Detect. Both of them, see kill into Sceptile. Okay. Big Seppi detect. Swift Swim, Mega Swampert. Goes really fast. Big Stone Edge. We Energy Ball him. We one-shot this Swampert with Miracle Seed. See you later, Pert. <sighs> okay. So this should bait out Tox Toxicroak. So Toxicroak has slow kill into our Electrode, but because our Sceptile is holding an Iron Ball, he has fast kill into our Sceptile. We're going to outspeed and kill this Gyarados with a Volt Switch. And we're going to switch in Lycan Rock on a guaranteed Gunk Shot. Is it actually guaranteed Gunk Shot? I think it is. Wait, no, I trolled. This can tr this can cross chop right now. Oh, I actually fucked up. <laughs> I actually fucked up. If this cross chops right here, we probably lose our Hunch Crow as well. 
Oh boy. Fucking whatever, dude. Truck and bag, I live for it. Um, if he gun shots us, <laughs> if he gun shots us, that's pretty good, but then we still have to sack Lycan Rock most likely later. If he cross chops here, I'm pretty sure our fucking uh, Oh, that, that gets really sus, actually. I'm pretty sure we lose our hunch crow later. Please just gunk shot me, though. Please. It gets really sus, actually. I didn't realize. Oh, okay. Fuck. Please. Volt switch into Gara. Kill him. Please gunk shot my guy. We're gonna send in. Oh, wait. No. This is fine. This always. No. Wait. Oh, shit. This is. This... We could potentially not even bait Pult if he fucking gunk shots. Right? Does, does Pult have kill on. No, Pult has fast kill on Kingler. We're fine. Okay. So we, we Volt Switch into our Honchcrow now. This is, this is really sus. <laughs> so we kill with Bolt Switch, get our Honchcrow in. He cross chopped. Oh. That's so fucking bad. <gasps> well, uh, we send in Kingler. So Kingler should bait fast kill Dragapult always. We did not cook this. We could still be in this maybe. So we, we're using a dark gem here. Oh, I didn't fucking candy my honchkrow either. Oh my god. Oh my god. Please target. <laughs> I'm actually throwing. I'm actually fucking throwing. Well, this will always kill this Dragapult. Dark gem. We're committing a dark gem to this pult and killing it. Toxicroak sees fast kill with two... With, no, with only Sludge Bomb into our Kingler right now. Um, So we can protect on that. And then hopefully he has like a few rolls of kill on our hunch crow as well but hopefully he doesn't go for that and even if he goes for it he might not get it protect <laughs> dark gem boosted sucker punch to kill this dragapult whack see you later <laughs> i don't care this is maybe not the run but okay thank fuck that was into the protect Okay. Oh, this this means that we could still lose on this switch then. So Magnazone sees fast kill. Sorry, slow kill actually into both of our guys right now, but he can only use an electric move on our left slot here. If he fucking if the if the Toxicroak gung shots our Donphan right here, it's really, really bad. But it should be sludge bomb into this slot. Wait, I don't actually have a switch in. This was going to be my... Everything's out by a turn now. Oh, we're actually fucked. I definitely have outs and ways to win this. <laughs> One of them might involve hitting a double protect on Kingler right here. <laughs> and everything is fucking out of whack by one turn because I forgot something and lost a 50-50 and got punished for it. Kingler, if you're real, you hit these. Oh seven man, unlucky. This Kingler popped off. I got fucked. Oh no, if this is flash cannon into Donpan. Okay, that's fine. Have to go Seppi. We're gonna detect and rip an EQ. This should be double move into Seppi. So Seppi is actually slower than both of these guys because we're holding an Iron Ball because we need to be to bait that Toxic Croak shit at the start that didn't even work. Because I, I'm an idiot and I forgot to check that. Um, this Earthquake brings these guys both down to 1 HP. Yep. And the Sturdy. So I think what is by far optimal is Ice Sharding Toxicroak to kill it and switching in um, Electrode on the Magnazone move. I shot you. Switch an Electrode. I think I have to. That stuff's fine. That'll just go into our Electrode. Right? Yeah. Okay. 
None, none of these moves can kill our Electrode here. Ice Shard into Toxicroak kills it, even after the healing. See you later. I think, I think we actually maybe have it. Oh, that was... That's okay. That's second worst. 111. Oh, wait. No, I'm so fucked. I needed Kingler to kill this Executor. Wait, wait, wait. No, we can maybe still steer this. I can Ice Shard this Magnezone or just Volt Switch on this Magnezone. He doesn't have Cast App anymore, right? Oh, wait, no. Is he fucking... He's Aya Papa Berry. I guess we just really need our Ice Shard to not crit him. <laughs> but Ice Shard crits him. We fuck him. We're fucked. Uh, it's a Dragon Hammer, not a Wood Hammer, yeah. So, we Ice Shard you, Volt Switch you. Please don't crit him. If we crit him, we're actually in trouble. Uh, actually, maybe not. You're fucking kidding me, man. I think we can still Honchkrow Sucker. I think that's okay, actually. As long as our Honchkrow dodges crit. I think it's still fine. But, like, fuck, man. You eat these, Honchkrow, if you're real. You eat these up. Oh, he's not harvest. Oh my god, he harvested. Oh, fuck, he actually harvested. Oh my god. Oh my god, no. Wait. I don't think Honchkrow Sucker puts him... Uh, the Sucker goes first, right? So I have to Sucker and pray that Sucker doesn't crit. Thank fuck that wasn't range. Brave Verdal just died of recoil. I don't know if I'd be saying GG after that one. <laughs> I mean, hey... The PB is getting pushed, but wow, those are not the best deaths. <laughs> How the fuck do we make it here? I don't know, but here we are. So we have Horlucha Dupe and we have Gligar Dupe, which is 40%. So 40% of the time is just going to be a dupe. That's, that's chill, whatever. Then... It's Hisui Sneasel is 20%. Mian Xiao is 10%. That would be kind of bad. Serena, 5% would be horrible. I think Volcarona would be pretty good. Beware would be okay. Altaria would be insane. I think Hisui Sneasel would be insane. I think Noivern would actually be pretty good for us. Okay, dude. This is 50% plus speed sync as well. Hell yeah. This is meant to be a really good mon, by the way. Insane. Goes goes really hard. And here he is. Quiet nature. You're fucking kidding me. Honestly, fuck it. If we want to scale this guy, we'll just do it. You know, our box still doesn't look horrible. 